Hey guys, it's me, Green Tiger 276, and tonight we are playing the Crooked Man. I got my lucky skull with me, George. Say hello, George. Hello. Let's get this started, shall we? This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Okay, then. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in the little crooked house. Phew! Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything we can do to help with David? Nah, I'm bad. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice! The three of us could go out drinking. Glug, glug. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it! Be careful, you two! Oh yeah, again, uh, sorry for the bad audio quality. Not sure if you can hear from the game. I, you can hear my voice, but not very good. Anyway, here we are. David, I'm pretty sure. What's this? Huh? Jeez, Paul forgot his license. I should give it to him while he's still around. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm? You hear someone. What's with this place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? Yeah, what were you thinking, guys? Come on. You, he wanted to move for a chance of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Gotta do the finger when you do that. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. He can't even afford much furniture. Honestly, when I move out, I'm gonna just find furniture in it, like that's been thrown out. Seriously, I'm only 16 again. The 16-year-old's new Jewish guy. Besides, you told me to look for this place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Whoosh! I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Well, my friends are dicks. Okay, time for bed. Let's answer the phone before we do that, shall we? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Shirley, you mustn't be joking. Oh, I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. Yeah, good movie airplane. I just call it... I'll just call it a day. Why don't you take it easy for my first day in my new place? Man, I'm tired. Snore. Snore. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Hey! Shut up in there! I'm trying to sleep! Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room. Even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What were you what are you what are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Sorry. You should try to start something. You're the guy who more than the door five, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Suspicion, suspicion. Eh, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now! She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it's the, that was a man's voice. Okay. It was, was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. 
this. What is that noise? Is it the bathtub? There it is. There we go. Hmm. Under the bed. Under the bed. It's probably trying to prank me. Talking about bad taste. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm. Found something. Dee -dee -dee -dee. You got scrap from a notebook. What does it say? Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice will I do I have? What's this? The deformed tenant. Leave this. Tenant. Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. Snore. 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 And there's the crying again. Don't we all? Uh... Well, at least it's morning this time. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No. No, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye! I slept in to noon. Ready to go. So I'm taking it easy. All right, time to leave. Doesn't eat breakfast. Oh, hey. Paul, what is it? Y yeah. Um, I forgot my license yesterday. Is it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but phew, thanks. So you going somewhere? Yeah, to a hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Take care of yourself, guys. Oh, yeah. Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat would do that for me? Do you take me for, David? So, sorry, I didn't mean like that. Anyway, I'm off. Here we are in work. Hi. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Tommy, Timmy, you certainly grill. Good. You look healthy. Sorry, I can't be very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off. So I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near my favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Forever. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All the fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime? I like apple pie, don't you? You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. I opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy some from there. Mom. Who would you be? Why are you here? Oh god, she's got short-term memory loss, guys. How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Mo. Get out! I'll have you soon, not! Somebody! Somebody! Rape! You're a strange man in my room! Give it a move now! Rape! Mrs. Hoover, or Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Hello. Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed with this giant needle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We'll, you'll have to leave for the day. Understood. Take good care of her.
very well. Good one. Davy. Hey Sam, hey Davy boy, where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mum? Your fright school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot? You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. Oh, oh, I did. Mom, it's me. Remember, Mom. David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my. I said leave. Be gone. Okay. Thanks, I hope you can help her. Okay then. <laughs> what was that? Nope. Nope. There's a lot of track in the wall, blah blah blah. No TV. Cupboards. Refrigerator, stove, that, box of tissues, empty trash can, phone, set telly, washing machine, don't want to go, <laughs> right in here, What do I do? I heard some boots scooting boogie. Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM, of course, I circled the word somebody shooting out of the door. Guess this is the for antennas. Read it for me. I'm too lazy. <sighs> Hello. Hey, David, how are you doing? Ha <laughs> ha. You saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks, you fucking jerk. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? Wink, wink, double wink. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told you you heard your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay, don't tell her I just need her... Don't need her, but she should be looking out for herself. All right, well, I'll hang up now. Boop! Boop! Da -da -da -da. Can I sleep now? Oh, look up. Oh, I didn't get to read it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, do I call her? What do I do? I didn't read it. Oh, it's a bit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. He walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence. A crooked... Ah! They all lived together in a little crooked house. He said, I'm going to go through. Blah, blah, blah. So strange, I should sleep. Forget about it. 